For years, photos of her family in Nigeria were all Joanne Onokoru had as she studied at UBC. This is what we call National Day in Nigeria, Independence Day, where everyone dresses up a native. <laughs> That's myself and my kids. When she got to her residency, that feeling of isolation only deepened. It was a tough, it, it was a shock. And um, it was a big, very big shock. And I left the residency and I, I started crying, literally crying. It's a reality many black international students continue to face. According to the 2021 census, black people make up 1.2% of BC's population. UBC's Black Student Union holds weekly events to try and foster a sense of community for black students. Where you can just be among people who look and speak to you, ask you for your name, want to get to know you. It's a moment to breathe. And more black students are participating than ever before. The CASA adds resources are stretched thin. The group has been pushing for a permanent black space on campus. There is an audience. There are black students on this campus who need a space, who want a space to connect with other black students on campus. And we need to facilitate that. UBC does not keep data on the number of black students enrolled at the school. The university acknowledges the challenge for students to balance work life while fostering community. They say they are committed to conversations around the need for inclusive spaces. While she struggled to find connection, Anakoru says it was support from other black students that helped her. Now she's providing that for the next generation. Over the years, she's opened up her home to more than 100 international students, offering home-cooked meals or just someone to talk to. I knew that they needed that motherly figure. They, I knew they needed that home they could come call home. And these are, besides the young people, but everyone. And that's one of the reasons I was like, you know what? This is a home away from home. Building the community she always longed for. Tarnjeet Parmar, CBC News, Vancouver.